Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a fun card to kick off the December blog hop for Simon Says Stamp featuring some awesome new dies and I think this is a really easy card project to do so let's jump into the products I'll be using. Today's card features a new die called Sweet Tulip and I just think this is a gorgeous graphic cool design. I'm gonna be using that and I'm also going to be using some of these, well, one of these nested banner dies. This is a brand new set as well, and it comes with all these different sizes of banner size that you can cut and stack. And I'm going to be using a sentiment from Simon Says Stamp, Tiny Words. It's one of my favorite series uh, of late are the Tiny Words sentiments, because they're small. Got worn lipstick, dried marigold, and squeezed lemonade, and I'm going to be doing a little painting with these colors today. So you'll also need a, a paintbrush. And for watercolor paper, I'm gonna use Tim Holtz today. And the reason why is when I plan on die cutting something out of the Nina Solar White cardstock, I know that Tim's watercolor paper is really bright white compared to most watercolor papers. So we'll use a few other things as we go, but let's jump into the project. I've got a little bit of water here and what I'm gonna do is just smush down my pads right onto my Tim Holtz glass media mat. This is what's so cool about the media mat. It's got this white area so you can very clearly see what you're smushing down. It's glass, it's easy to clean, and I really think it's cool for things like this where you want to smush and use ink and get a little messy. Now I'm just going to take this brush, get it a little wet, and pick up some of the first color. And I'm just working in rainbow order. I've got a very modified rainbow, the Roy, if you will, because red is my pink, then I will be doing orange, which is the marigold, and then the squeezed lemonade will be the yellow for my card project. And all I'm doing is just a very simple wash of color. You don't have to be a talented painter to do a project like this. You just have to be able to lay down some color in somewhat of an orderly fashion. And that for me, that is, that's what I'm, I can do this. Um, I've got the marigold going down, and once I, I wanted this to look very light and dreamy and pale, but I did decide after I laid down the first three colors with just a tiny bit of overlap to come back in, smush down a little more color in the marigold and in the yellow just because I wanted to take a drier brush to layer in some darker swipes there just to give a little more texture to my watercolor piece. Did the same thing with the yellow, took the corner of the pad, smushed it down, and then picked up that darker color to layer in. And now I'll just set that aside to dry. Cool thing about the mat, very easy to clean up. Spray a little water down, get a paper towel or a cloth, you wipe up, you're good to go. Now I'm going to cut out the tulip, and I'm using Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. This is the classic crest paper. And I could only get two out of the piece I had, so I had to pull out another scrap. But what I'm gonna do, just run that through my Platinum 6 machine. I went back and forth a couple of times just to get a really clean cut, and that cut fantastically. I also have new plates. I feel like sometimes when you get new plates, you also can get really great cuts. So I'm just going to use my craft pick to kind of gently poke out anything that didn't come out automatically. And I'm going to go ahead and cut two more of these out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them and stack them together. But Isn't that just cute? So graphic. I love it. Now sometimes when you do your die cuts, have you ever noticed how there'll be like little pieces of paper, almost like hair? <laughs> it's not actually a hair lip, but yeah. Sometimes I'll just take a piece of tape and just go over the back of the die cut carefully so as not to bend it, but you can see right here, those are the little hairs I'm talking about. I just like to do this to create a clean look. And now I'm gonna use, oh, <laughs> magnets be gone. Okay, I'm going to use Elmer's spray adhesive to quickly glue these together. So I've got a little box off camera. I hold my breath, I spray, then I blow so that the fumes go away from my lungs. Then I bring this back to the table and line it up. And I'm actually getting a lot better at stacking die cuts. So this is something that um, I wanted to show you this in real time because I'm proud of my improved speed. I, I'm getting better at it. But it's actually pretty easy. Once you 
get the bottom of this die lined up. You just sort of work your way up. And then I've got the third die cut to stack as well. And that will just create some really nice dimension. Put a block on that until it adheres perfectly. Now I just popped out the smallest sentiment label here from these stacked, uh, these stacked labels. And I wanted to find a sentiment that would work well with this die. And all of the tiny sentiments will fit uh, in the width of it, but not all of them will fit in the length. So I found one and I thought this would be nice for a sympathy card or maybe just someone who's going through a rough time. So we've got a scrap of paper. I prepped that with the embossing magic and now I'm just going to use my Versamark. Just press that down. And I do have a good scrap bin, so I apologize for it not looking perfect, but hey, you know what? I use my scraps, people. I'm proud of that. All right, ultra fine embossing powder. This is uh, alabaster from Brutus Monroe. This has kind of been my go-to for a while now. It's just a really nice white powder. So get that on, tap it off, and because of that embossing magic, the powder only sticks where I want it to be. So my heat tool just sets that very quickly until it's all shiny and melted. And I'll just tape that banner right over the top, run it through my machine, and voila, a perfect little wishing you peace banner. Now I decided to pull out an old die, well, old for me, I mean, it's a dotted rectangle from Lawn Fawn because I thought it would be cute to have this panel trimmed. And then I can take my card base and have that matching pink cardstock. And this is Dusty Rose, by the way, from Gina, from Gina K. There she is, her adhesive as well. Because I, I wanted to have a margin of space. I thought initially I was just gonna put the panel down and have it be all white, which would have been a nice look as well. But I thought, you know, the, the watercolor is so pale that I thought this card would benefit by having that little frame of white, or pink space, if you will. So now this is just glued down. The die cut looks great there using a little bit of the spray adhesive as well. I'm using a little multimedia mat just to kind of add a little drop here and there where the, that sentiment strip will touch that die cut. And I'm just gonna put a block on that again until it completely adheres. And that is my finished card project. The light looks a little washed out here. It is pale, but it's a little bit brighter in person. I just think it's a very simple design, a fun way to stick a really charming and graphic die cut over just a messy wash of watercolor using Distress Oxides. So thanks for watching, and I will see you back here again with another card project soon.